Hey everyone, Lexi Vermeulen here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to confidently take your bike on and off the trainer. Let's go. So the first step is to get your bike in the proper gear. So I'm gonna shift into what is effectively the hardest gear on the bike, the lowest cog in the back. So the second step is to get the back wheel off. Uh, mine has a little quick release option, but a lot of them will need a five or six millimeter Allen key. So you'll just twist, and that through axle should pull right out. So for third step, once you have the uh, through axle out, we're gonna take the wheel out. So we're gonna pull uh, the derailleur back so the cassette can fall out. And I'm gonna lift up on the saddle with my left hand and it should fall right back out. Hold the saddle, pull the wheel. So the fourth step is probably one of the hardest. You need to line up your chain with the smallest cog like you took it, like you shifted in the beginning. And you're just gonna slide the bike onto the trainer. The fifth and final step is putting the through axle back through. Make sure you're lined up and then you just kind of push it through and tighten it on. So once you tighten your through axle, it's time to ride. Maybe shifting your knees your gear and see you out there. So now you want to take your bike back off the trainer and get back outside. I'm going to show you how to put the wheel back in the bike, uh, kind of the reverse order of the same steps. So the first order of business is uh, shifting into the hardest cog. Sometimes, as you'll see here, spacing is a little bit different, so it actually won't go all the way in the bottom cog. So it's quite fine because it's going to be the same on your bike. So once you have the bike off the trainer, we're going to put the wheel in the same as we did the trainer, but it's a little more difficult to not allow this brake rotor to hit the frame. So we're going to set it here and set that chain on that smallest cog like we did before. We're going to push down the back. That'll push this around. And you're going to see this rotor get caught in the frame. Push the wheel in a little bit, and it'll fall right in. Make sure that wheel is sitting all the way in the dropouts. Otherwise, you're just going to twist the threads around and then twist in until you get it tight. So final step, once your through axle is tight, maybe shift your bike into an easier gear so you don't fall over when you start riding. Ready to go ride.